Mathematics is a subject which is full of fun, magic and wonders. In this chapter, we are going to experience some of this fun and wonder. We will also learn the method of writing two and three digit numbers in generalized form and deduce the divisibility test rules of 2, 3, 5, 9, 10 and 11. In this chapter, we will learn about Numbers Test of Divisibility Numbers Numbers in general form Let us take 42. If we reverse its digits, we will get 24. Now 42 is equal to 4 into 10 plus 2 into 1 and it is equal to 10 into 10's digit plus 1's digit and 24 is equal to 2 into 10 plus 4 into 1 and it is equal to 10 into 10's digit plus 1's digit. In the same way, for any two digit number A, B, A, B is equal to A into 10 plus B into 1 and B, A is equal to B into 10 plus A into 1. Hence, any two digit number whose tens digit is A and units digit is B can be written as 10A plus B, where A is not equal to 0 and B is a whole number. Hence, we observe that AB is not equal to BA, that is, 42 is not equal to 24. Similarly, for a three-digit number, we can write 142 is equal to 1 into 100 plus 4 into 10 plus 2 into 1 and 241 is equal to 2 into 100 plus 4 into 10 plus 1 into 1. Here, ABC is equal to 142 and CBA is equal to 241. So, ABC is not equal to CBA. Let us consider another example. 712 is equal to 7 into 100 plus 1 into 10 plus 2 into 1. And 217 is equal to 2 into 100 plus 1 into 10 plus 7 into 1. Here ABC is equal to 712 and CBA is equal to 217. So ABC is equal to A into 100 plus B into 10 plus C into 1 and CBA is equal to C into 100 plus B into 10 plus A into 1. So a three digit number whose hundreds digit is A, tens digit is B and units digit is C can be written as 100A plus 10B plus C where A is not equal to 0 and B and C are whole numbers. Number game. Here we will learn about the number game. First type. First take any two digit number and then add the reverse of the two digit number to the number itself. Now divide the number by 11. Finally you will observe that there is no remainder left. For example, take any two digit number, let's say 24. Then by adding the reverse number of 24, we get 24 plus 42 is equal to 66 and then dividing 66 by 11, we get 6. Thus, we observe that there is no remainder left. Second type. First take any two digit number. Now reverse the digits of the number and subtract the smaller number from the larger one. Now divide the answer by 9 and finally you will observe that no remainder is left. Now consider the following example. Consider 10a plus b. Let a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 3. So 10a plus b is equal to 53. Reversed number is 10b plus a that is 35. Therefore 10a plus b minus 10b plus a is equal to 9a minus 9b and this is equal to 9a minus b that is 53 minus 35 is equal to 18 and this is equal to 9 into 2. Now 9a minus b divided by 9 is equal to a minus b that is 9 into 2 divided by 9 is equal to 2. Thus we observe that there is no remainder left. Third type. First take any three digit number. Now reverse the digits of the number. Subtract the smaller number from the larger one. Now divide the result by 99. Finally you will observe that no remainder is left. 
The explanation of the above points is as under. Consider a 3 digit number 100A plus 10B plus C. Let A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3 and C is equal to 4. So the numbers are equal to 234. Reverse the number. So we get 100C plus 10B plus A. That is 432. Subtract the smaller number from the larger one. That is subtract 100A plus 10B plus C from 100C plus 10B plus A. This implies that 100C plus 10B plus A minus 100A plus 10B plus C that is 432 minus 234 is equal to 198. Now divide the result by 99. That is 198 divided by 99 is equal to 2. Finally, you will observe that there is no remainder left. Fourth type. Consider any three digit number as 100A plus 10B plus 1C. Let ABC is equal to 234. Now, use this number to form two more three digit numbers. That is, the first number is CAB and the second number is BCA. That is, if ABC is equal to 234, then CAB is equal to 423 and BCA is equal to 342. Add the three numbers, that is ABC plus CAB plus BCA and divide the result by 37. As the addition of 234 plus 423 plus 342 is equal to 999 and 999 divided by 37, it is equal to 27. So you will observe that there is no remainder left. Letters for numbers. These are puzzles in which letters take the place of digits in an arithmetic sum and the problem is to find which letter represents which digit, so it's like cracking a code. There are two rules we follow while doing such puzzles. The first rule is that each letter in the puzzle must stand for just one digit. Each digit must be represented by just one letter and the second is that the first digit of the number cannot be zero. Now consider the following examples. Find the value of R in the following addition. Here we can see there is only letter R whose value we have to find out. Now taking R plus 3 is equal to 8, which is only possible when R is equal to 5. Also, 1 plus R is equal to 6. This is only possible when R is equal to 5. Hence, 2 1 R plus 1 R 3 is equal to 3 6 8 becomes 2 15 plus 1 53 is equal to 3 68. Now consider the second example. Find the value of A in the following subtraction. Here B has to be 5 as 1 carat from 7 makes it 15 and 15 minus 8 is equal to 7. So B is equal to 5. Therefore, 6 left at 10's place and 1 carat from A makes it 16 and 16 minus 9 is equal to 7. So, C is equal to 7. Now, A has to be 8. So, we get 875 minus 398 is equal to 477. Now, look at the third example. Find the missing values in following. 1A multiplied by A is equal to 9A and AB multiplied by 3 is equal to CAB. Now we have 1A multiplied by A is equal to 9A. Here, A has to be 6, hence 16 multiplied by 6 is equal to 96. Also, we have AB multiplied by 3 is equal to CAB. Here, B can be 5 or 0. But B as 5 is not possible. So, B is equal to 0. A is equal to 5 and C is equal to 1. Hence, 50 multiplied by 3 is equal to 150.